Let's say you've got a few hundred product links that you need to download from your supplier's website. For this example, we're just going to use Amazon. There are a lot of scraping tools out there, but my favorite is called Octoparse. It is free to use and has no limit as to how many products you can scrape at one given time. If you're logged in for the first time, you will need to register. Once you've registered and logged in, right-click on the left panel and select Create New Category. Let's call it Amazon. Now right-click New Task in Advanced Mode. Name it something like Amazon Scrape. Please keep in mind that it does not accept spaces, so you will need to use dashes or underscores within your names. Now, this is your design flow, where you can tell Octopus which sequence of steps it needs to take before it extracts the information. We will start with a simple loop. Just click and drag it into the middle of the design flow. Click on the list of URLs and paste the first three URLs. We're going to test it first before we paste in the rest. Click Save. And as you can see, it is loading the first URL. The next sequence of steps is what the program will do for each item in the loop. Now drag extract data just below the sequence that says go to web page. Click on the plus sign and click add the current page URL. Rename it to URL. We're going to use this as our unique identifier. Click on the title and extract text. Name it title. Click on the description tab, and as you can see, it picks up the HTML structure. We will need to pick up the entire description table, so let's click UL and extract in a HTML, including the page source code. It will help us organize information better. Let's call it short description. Now scroll down a little and click on one of the paragraphs of the long description. Go up a few levels until all the information that you want to extract is highlighted. But don't go too overboard, because an individual Excel cell has a limit of just over 32,000 characters, which may seem like a lot, but when you start extracting with all the HTML code and extra spaces, you can hit the limit pretty quickly. Click Extract in a HTML, including the page source code, and let's call it Long Description. Now let's scroll down and grab product information as well, just in case, and call it Fright. Don't worry about the images at this moment, we will go through them in the next tutorial. Once you're happy with all the data fields, tick Block Pop-ups, disable loading pictures to speed up the process and click Next twice. Now click Local Extraction and there you go, your scraping process has begun. Once it is finished, let's save it in an Excel spreadsheet. Double check that everything is imported correctly. You can use HTML Cleaner that I've mentioned in a previous tutorial to preview your HTML code. Or you can use word to html which is another great website that does pretty much the same thing. Everything seems to be okay here, so let's go back to our workflow. Click on the loop item. Click on the list of URLs. Select all. Paste in the full list of URLs and make sure that you don't forget to save, otherwise it will not update the settings. Click Next, Next again, and double check that the process has begun. It usually takes about a minute to start, so please be patient. Ok, so it has taken it just over half an hour to complete the process. Let's save that. And there you go, you have just scraped yourself 200 products.